if she's screaming, I'm gonna catch her tonight. Remember that Longhorn Luster's mystery? Oh my God, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Earlier this week, solved. Check this out. Some of y'all were right. Turns out I didn't have to relocate a woman, but, but you're never going to believe like in a million years, you're never going to believe what happened. And I am headed back to the woods alone to check my trap. Not excited, but also excited. I don't know how else to say that. Here we go. Taking the long journey. It is a hot one already. Oh, this is the scary part. Well, the first scary part, I should say. Crossing the uh, little tiny bridge. It's a lot easier with a whole bunch of littles following me though. Lester actually took the littles on a little journey down to the river in the back. So this kind of gives me some solo time, which, okay, I appreciate as I'm walking across this narrow, little plot but I'm also still a little leery of going into the woods alone I'm not gonna lie the real trick though is gonna be when I get in there if there is something in my trap I brought nothing with me might not be the smartest Jamie move maybe secretly I'm catch hoping that I didn't catch anything I don't know okay I'm fairly certain we went into the woods here this time, mostly because I remember falling in this hole. Look, there's my footprint. Yeah. So I'm gonna do this. Ooh, I'm getting out of breath. Y'all don't realize how steep these hills are and how out of shape and old I am. As it turns out, I get a healthy reminder when I do this lord i will spare you the darth vader breathing okay this is actually where we came out of the wood yesterday which if i remember right should lead me right to the trap there's a nice little animal pathway right here that i'm on i'm like tangled in let me out Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, see, this is absolutely a mini chainsaw situation right here. Okay. Uh oh. Y'all, I think my trap was here. I know it was on the right side of the path, like the right side as we're walking back. Maybe it's a little bit further down. Um. That's not where I put it. Like at all. Holy crap. Something has definitely been here. Like really disturbing things. And it was this is not from goats. Number one. The trap is now bent. Which probably prevented that door from coming all the way down. And... Oh my God, the food is gone, but the trap is not set. So either that whatever was in it, like had it on its head and like poured the food to itself somehow, but it didn't tip it over because all my leaves are still on it. So it just like pushed it around because I set it up this way. Um, yeah, the whole trap is bent. And like twisted, combobulated. Mm -hmm, yeah, okay. So, screaming woman sound, still a mystery, uh, except for it crushed my trap. It's great news, that's great. Yeah. Yep, this is my exit. I'm gonna go get Lester, tell him about what happened, bring some more bait, camera, and we'll get a redo tonight. Okay, I'm back. I brought my fancy cat food. And 
This is serious. Let's go. Now y'all are seeing that this is attached, right? Like you see the lid? I don't detach the lid on purpose. It's gotta be set beyond the little thingy. Okay. Why not, right? Okay, facing this way. Got a little brush in the way, but nothing that's gonna prevent it from closing. Next up, security. So, these guys don't sponsor us. I paid for this thing. But this is actually called a barn owl. And the cool part about it is, it will actually <clears throat> connect to a cell phone tower and send me live images whenever this happens, oh, whenever things happen. Right now it's searching for a signal, trying to make sure that it can connect to said cell phone tower. But in a worst case scenario, what happens is it has its own little memory card that it'll save to you. And whenever it finally does get signal, it will send it to me. But it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of signal. I don't know if it'll be great, but that's okay. It's worth it. Hopefully we figure out what's going on here tonight. <laughs> if she's screaming, I'm gonna catch her so tonight. after a little review, Lester said, why don't we add another trap? And he went back down to the woods to do it for me. So the double trap turned out to be a big hit, maybe because there was multiple cans of cat food. But this little raccoon here could not get enough. Oh, and can't forget the possum that visited. Yes, uh, this guy spanned both traps and was all over it. Oh, but wait, I don't know if this is the same raccoon that came back or if it's a new one, but he sure is large. Oh yeah, notice he's eating directly through the traps. But last but not least, the fox, which happens to have a scream that sounds exactly like a woman. So for everybody who said this, ding, ding, you were right. We have a fox so, in the woods. Not what I actually expected to catch, but uh, we're here to let him out. And by we, I mean Lester, because uh, I can't do it on my own um, at all. And uh, I'm also terrified to even be sitting here, just for the record. But uh, here's my conclusion. So last night, this, this little spot was visited so frequently and by so many that it tells me that they're hungry out here. And if this wasn't here and I had any feathered babies, I can bet you that they would find their way up to the feathered babies. So it's sad to me that he's in a trap, like really sad. Obviously they're, they're not hurt. This is a, this is a live trap, it's a box trap. So all that. his ego is not, his ego is probably the most hurt thing. Oh wow, they dug around here like crazy. I saw that in the camera. Oh, he's so scared. You saw what in the camera? I saw they were digging right here. Well, they're trying to dig. And because I think that he can eat through the... Yeah, he's putting his little hands through and he's eating through the cage. So he had a good feast last night. But um, there was a lot of activity in this area, clearly. And this was not Lester activity. This is animal activity. And I guess they were not as deterred by the scent of us as I thought that they would be. But, um, you know... It means they're hungry. Walk over here and you can see the side and see the space. Pretty. Oh, pretty. You're a pretty guy. A girl. <laughs> so calm and scared. Don't worry, we're not going to hurt you. We're going to let you go whenever Mama tells me to open the cage. And Mama's going to stand on top of that four-wheeler like it's her job. <laughs> no, you're not. Yes, you're, I am. You're going to stand right here beside me when we do it. No, I'm not. I just... I. It means that they're hungry. So people are not going to like what I'm about to say right now. I'm not going to keep traps out here because I don't have any intention of harming any animal. I want, well, to, I want to know what's here. If we don't plan to relocate them. Right. I, I, it's okay that they're in the woods. They need a place to live as well. I don't want them to live in the barn. So that would be a bigger problem. But way out here in the woods, they can live in the woods. It's their home. They were here first. 
I think your biggest question to answer is what made the noise because that wasn't him that made the noise no it isn't i i am pretty sure that the people that said that it was a fox were accurate because a fox definitely visited this trap area he was the fox i say he was just way more cautious than this guy or less hungry i'm not sure but um the people that said fox I think were accurate. I listened to the things that people sent me and it matched and the fact that a fox showed up here just makes sense. Super happy it wasn't a woman that we had to relocate. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, really, I am not standing here for this party. Hold on. You ready? I'm ready. I'm happy he's facing the right way because earlier on camera he was not. You can leave whenever you're ready. The door's wide open for you. <laughs> the door's wide open for you, just go. I wonder if raccoons have a hard time seeing in the daylight, like possums do. Boy, that this is way less uh, dramatic than I anticipated. Okay, that's a good plan. Alright, whenever you're ready, buddy. You can go. The door's open. Aww. You better run for it, dude. Don't let that... Don't let that stick get tripped up. There he goes. And he's off. Right up that tree. No. Nope, he's going to the woods. See you later, buddy. We'll call him Frank. Frank's free. So, Lester, you're not going to like this. We're going to take these cages home. And then I'm going to bring out a, a food bowl. And I'm going to feed cat food here a couple nights a week. So that way they know this is where they eat. And not up at our barns and where our animals are. Is that dumb? I think it's dumb that you say you are going to bring out cat food a couple <laughs> nights a week. So what that really means is I've just got another job added to my list of things that I do already. One such being come to the woods and bring cat food three nights a week. Because I'm I will, here every day. I know. I'm here... I'm here at least three days. That's why I said three days, because I'm here at least three days a week. I try to be here more, but it's sometimes not possible. So I will do it. I will do it routinely, but I may need your help. But you're right. I really means we. Oh, boy. All right. I'm keeping up the camera, though, because I think it would be neat to watch. Let's see who all comes by. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see who shows up. Oh, show up indeed. That fox came right back, and because there wasn't food, look at the nice gift that he left us. Yeah, that's a gift that keeps on giving.